Looking to treat yourself or a loved one to a cellular upgrade this holiday season but don't want to break the bank? Then look no further because the A80 Pro Quad Camera Budget King is definitely for you. Not only does it feature four rear cameras, a 6.49 in-cell water drop screen that I'm sure you'll want to be watching my videos on, a ridiculous amount of battery life, and 64 gigabytes of storage. It features all of the top-notch security features such as facial recognition and a fingerprint reader. It's equipped with Android 9.0 software and its LTE network spans worldwide. It has LED notifications so you can keep up with the latest NHL news and get notified when I upload a video. It's also available in four different colors, blue, red, green, and black. For all the features and not the ridiculous price you're used to, check out the A80 Pro Quad Camera Budget King. But for those of you that are as broke as a joke, Blackview is now giving away 10 free phones, so be sure to click the link below to submit your entry, and links below for purchase are in the description as well. During his brief time in the league thus far, while playing in the mecca of hockey and prior to, Matthews has formed some notable bromances throughout his career. From the U.S. National Development Program to World Juniors to the NHL, Matthews has made friends regardless of where he was playing. In this video, I'm going to talk about the love that Matthews shares with these five players. And with that, here are the top five players that Austin Matthews loves the most. International teammate and current NHL opponent Brock Besser met Matthews shortly before the 2016 World Junior Championships. The two who were roommates during the competition reportedly hit it off during their time spent overseas. We got along pretty well there, and I never knew him before that, Besser says. And I'd say that we grew a pretty good friendship from that week. After Besser made it to the NHL later, Matthews came to his former teammate's defense when asked about the slump that was seen during the forward's sophomore season, saying, I think he's really smart, Matthews says. He's got a good hockey sense and puts himself in good positions and good areas to get the puck in, so he can use his shot. I think that's something he's really good at. Today, I feel like guys, now that they kind of know him, they're going to want to take his space away. And he's really good at finding that open area to get his shot off, he says. First meeting while trying out for the U.S. National Development Team in Ann Arbor, Austin Matthews and Charlie McAvoy quickly became fast friends, as both shared similar experiences en route to the NHL. For starters, without even knowing one another, McAvoy and Matthews actually both played in the 2010 Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament. McAvoy for the New York Rangers minor team and Matthews Years later, the two would meet again, but under different circumstances as teammates. The duo, after playing for two seasons together for the U.S. National Development Team, experienced winning gold medals for their country twice side-by-side, -side, once in the 2014 U-17 World Hockey Challenge and also in the 2015 World Juniors. A year later, the former first-round picks would also share the experience and pressure of being young prodigies. Even though Matthews and McAvoy now play for two different teams that are pretty much sworn enemies, it doesn't mean that they don't still display their fondness for one another. Following last year's first round exit for the Toronto Maple Leafs while in the handshake line, McAvoy, once he reached Matthews, consoled his friend in a brief embrace. And yet another Toronto prodigy on this list, Matthews, became acquainted with Kachuk long before junior hockey. In fact, contrary to popular belief, the two actually first were on opposing sides before their days as teammates, playing for Team USA. As Kachuk and Matthews both participated in the 2010 Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament, Kachuk representing the St. Louis Blues minor hockey team and Matthews the but it wasn't until years later that their bromance came about, as both not only participated in the U.S. National Development Team program, but also shared the experience of winning gold for their country in the 2015 U18 World Championship. We had a slogan with USA, Champions Walk Forever. I still keep in contact with all those guys, Kachuk says. What we had was special. The two reportedly remain in touch today, as Kachuk alluded to while giving his take on Matthew's latest contract. I'm happy for him. It's a lot of money. I'll text him here in a little bit, and hopefully he'll pick up a nice little dinner the next time you see him.
Definitely a unique bond was that of Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews, and Patrick Marlowe, as the dynamic was more of a father and son's relationship than anything. Marlowe even previously acknowledged the fact by calling Mitch and Austin his adopted sons. Both took part in family photos, routinely spent time off the ice with Marlowe and his other four sons. Marlowe taught both forwards how to play cards, especially Uger, while Marner and Matthews made sure their dad was hip by teaching him text lingo. The romance even went so far on Matthews' end that he chose to honor the veteran by wearing his jersey under his own during the 2019 NHL All-Star Game. After learning of the trade himself, Marlowe took to his wife's Twitter page since he doesn't have one of his own, and left a rather sentimental farewell to both Austin and Mitch while thanking them for becoming part of the family. Possibly the most iconic bromance currently in Toronto, Matthews and Marner seem to be a unique duo. Because who doesn't dress up as jesters together? Anyways, besides both shouldering much of the expectations young prodigies have naturally thrust upon them, the two have formed a pretty close bond. A few memorable moments would be the pair singing along to the Bon Jovi classic, Living on a Prayer, sharing laughs while trying to hold a crying baby, and most recently dressing up for the Christmas favorite, The Nutcracker. Marner even took it upon himself to be a fan of the hit inspired by number 34 himself, by SVDVM that raps hit him with the four like Austin Matthews, and even admitted to listening to it while commuting to the rink alongside the guy who was the song's inspiration. There's no doubt that these two will be spending several future seasons together, and will be what they call bros for life. <laughs> 